Hi, how you doing? So welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to add this really, really nice soft 70s glow to your images. Now you can see here that we've got a little bit of movement and it's given us a really nice soft look. You can see that this is the before where it's pin sharp and this is the after with the effect. So in essence, what we're doing is recreating rear sync flash, which gives us um, a little bit of drag on the on the shutter speeds there so we can just create that movement um, and it's a really really nice effect so if you can't do this for whatever reason in camera then you can do it in post-production afterwards so I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that from the start so what we need to do is the first thing is just duplicate the background so I'm going to drag that down to the plus side down here and that's going to give us our background copy meaning we're not doing anything destructive then I'm going to come up to filter and then I'm going to go to blur gallery and select iris blur. Now what this is going to do is bring up this tool here, which basically blurs everything outside of this shape. Now we can move this around. Okay. We can push this in and out and this is kind of like a feather, but if we just click in the middle, we can move this around and get it to a rough shape of where we want. So about there is, is pretty good for me. So if we come to the left hand side up here where the actual tool is, I'm just going to drag this out so you can see it a little bit better. I want to set the blur to around 10 pixels because anything more than that, it's going to look um, too, there'll be too much of a heavy line there where the blur is created. Okay. Then I want to come up to here where it says field blur and select that. And what this will do is just add a blur to the whole of the image. And again, what we want to do is just bring this down to around seven or eight pixels just to soften it because we don't want to blur it too much. Then if we come down to here where it says path blur, if we click on that, what this enables us to do is actually create the direction of the blur. So if we come up to here where it says basic blur and select rear sync flash, we're now mimicking that rear sync flash. And what we can do is actually change the direction of this blur. So we can actually move this up and you can do this, change this to any direction you want. You can see what happens there. I can actually create um, sort of directional movement. So this would be mimicking the way that you would actually move the camera in which direction. So I'm going to just keep it, I reckon, around there. That's pretty good. So I don't want too much of a, um, a motion sort of going up too high. Sometimes you might want that. So you can uh, play around with that and, and get that exactly how you want. Now, what I'm going to do is on here where it says speed is I'm going to push that up to around 190 percent something like that um, around that region that's pretty good and then what I'm going to do is go to the where it says taper and I'm going to drop that down to about five percent there we go so you can see it's starting to mimic that kind of that real blur movement across there which is which is really really nice that's what we want then what we want to do is come to the end point here where it says end point speed I'm going to push that up to yeah, about 200 pixels. That's pretty good. Okay, the next step then is to come down to motion effects. Yours might be on effect. Select motion effects and then strobe strength. I'm going to push that up to halfway, so 50%. That's good. And just leave um, the strobe flashes on one. Then come up to the top here where it says high quality. So we want to select that and then press OK. And now that whole effect will be added to the image. So it'll just do its thing. There you go. So you can see we're getting there. We're getting that effect, which is really cool. So it's a little bit too strong. So come up to the opacity and just drop this down to, I'd say, about 75%. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add blur to the whole of the image just to make it a little bit more glowy. So 
the background image, the one that we copied a minute ago, click on that and just drag it down to the plus sign to create another background copy to there. Then we want to go up to filter, blur, and then go to Gaussian blur. And what we're going to do is push this blur really, really high. So around 300 is, is pretty good. You can see what that's doing. It's giving us a lovely warm, warm glow to the whole of the image. So press OK on to that. And then what we're going to do is come up to the blend mode and we're going to change that to hard light. OK, so that's given us a, a little bit of a better look. And then let's just drop the opacity on this layer. Keep that going down to, I would say, around 10 percent is quite good. And that gives us then a, a little bit of blur and glow to the image overall. So then what we can do is come to the middle layer here, the background copy, the first one, and just create a layer mask. Click on the button down there and then go to your brush tool. Make sure the color is set to black, which is the uh, foreground color. Come up to the top where your brushes are. Make sure the hardness is set to zero and just push the pixels up. So you've got a fairly big brush. So I can use the bracket keys on the keyboard there just to make the brush a little bit bigger. And the whole idea with this is just to pick out some of the areas that we want sharp and for me that's going to be the eyes so I'm just going to go over the eyes a few times and just pick them out because I want them to be sharp I don't want them to be soft okay and I'm going to go over the lips as well just a few times and once or twice over the eyebrows and then what I'm going to do is just pick out her nose rings there that's looking pretty good and then what I might do is just come to the jewelry here. And you can see we've got that slight blur movement across there, which is quite nice. But I just want to sharpen these a little bit. So I'm only going over these once or twice in certain areas. So, and I might just sharpen that one just to bring it back a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. And you can see on the layer mask there where we've made them adjustments. So you can also increase the brush and just click a couple of times on the face and that will just bring back some sharpness as well. So that's how you do it. So if we come to the history, I'll just click on the camera icon at the bottom there. You can see that was the before. So we've got a pin sharp image and then that's the after after what we've just done. And that will give you um, this real nice glow effect. And again, you can take real control of this get rid of any any areas that you don't want so that there's a little bit of movement here on a on a face that I'd probably take away um, just because it was just a bit of a line there so that's that solved that problem there um, and yeah that's that's how you do it so it's quite a simple process have a play see how you get on but it gives you this lovely effect and again it's mimicking rear sync flash um, where you get this lovely kind of dragging effect where you drop your shutter speed as well and just move the camera and you get this lovely glow so that's how you do it. I'll see you in the next one.